this is such a sad day that I'm officially having to sit here and make a statement about Akshay instead of actually picking up the phone and talking to him. And uh, I vividly, you know, recall that time that I met him first and he was in Jane College for a very brief period of time. And all that we wanted to know what, was what he was doing there because he had no intention of being there. And he had firmly said it that day that um, he was going to get into the army and it was a matter of days before he got his results. And he was so determined about what he said. A lot of times at that age, people are trying to figure out what they want to do in life and he had already met his purpose. And he was so proud that he was carrying on um, the tradition of doing what his father did. Uh, he was, he, his father served in the army as well. And this guy was just a proud guy just to say that he was going to be in the army. And uh, I think he knew that he was going to be in a long intensive training. and. Even though he was in Pune for a long time, uh, getting trained, uh, he always made sure that he was in touch with me. Um, half the times, I think, to bully me or uh, you know, crack a joke here and there. And uh, I, I think he he somehow knew, despite all the excitement, that he was, you know, taking part as part of his training. He always made sure that he had time for his friends that he had uh, left back in Bangalore and he was in various different terrains being posted in very tricky areas. Sometimes he, I mean, most of the times he couldn't even name the places that he was in. He used to tell me, Amulya, what are you doing? Think about it. I'm a proud guy. I'm at least serving in the army. What are you doing today? Are you going to eat Pani Puri? So I think it was just I remember all those events vividly and it's so tragic. I mean, I'm literally seeing the news today and this is what it's come to, a, you know, his brilliant life actually had to be ended like this. But I'm so proud he did it for our country and he knows he's proud too. And uh, the last time I met him was at Puma Social when he was with his wife and twin sister and we planned religiously to actually make sure that we met that day um, because I was going away you know to Paris the next day and um, somehow we had to make this um, opportunity to meet work and you know he's got this enthusiasm and his radiance is just so vibrant um, you know so I know the second that I meet him there's going to be a slew of jokes coming my way and uh, you know he messaged me a few months ago and um, it somehow seems recent um, that he wanted to catch up and I, he was in Bangalore only for a few hours and I unfortunately couldn't um, and I'm going to regret that that I did not make it happen and it's a, it's a very tough time and I don't know how his wife and his small daughter are all handling it, his parents and sister, everybody out in Bangalore. And you know, it's going to be so hard for them. And I, you know, pray that, you know, God gives them the strength. And we'll miss Akshay. We'll miss Akshay. And Larry, we're so proud of you, man. We won't see you again, but we're proud of you. Thanks, Akshay, for being my friend. And thanks for what you did. Bye.